Hey guys, it's Dina. So I had a request to show how to replicate multiple objects on a shape and we're going to use these stars here and I want to show you a couple of different ways to do it and um, a couple of little tricks that I've learned along the way. And um, unfortunately, I don't think that it's going to work the way that we think it's going to work, but I'm going to show you nonetheless. So the first way I want to show you is by using a grouped object. So I have these two stars here and they're grouped together. I've drawn my rounded rectangle and I have my replicate panel open from the right toolbar icon over here on the right side of the screen. And I've selected my object. I'll come over here to the far right top icon in the replicate panel and then click show grab handle. And then I'll just simply pull the icon over onto my shape and you can see that it's replicated around the shape my line has become a bolder red and at this point I can determine how many of this object that I want on my shape the position of them and so on and you can use that by using the options in the panel or these little handles over here on the actual replicated shape so let's say that we want nine, okay? And we want to just slightly alter our angle because that's how we want it to look. And then at the bottom of the replicate panel, you wanna click release copies. And you can see that now each grouped object has the bounding box around it. My line for the um, shape that I drew is no longer bold and at this point, I can pull my shape away and I can group my items together or make them a compound path or you know whatever that next step is in my design process. Okay, so that's the first way and we're just going to delete those off of our screen. The next way is by using multiple objects and placing them on the shape. And this is where um, I mentioned earlier, it might not work the way that we think it would work. Um, maybe if we request, request that for a future release, but as of now, you have to place these one at a time. Um, you don't have the option to place them both at the same time to work the way that we want it to work because you only get one bounding That's, and you can see you can only move one at a time um, I'm sorry one grab handle so <clears throat> we'll just undo that step here so let me show you the way that I have found that this will work so highlight or click on the object that you want to replicate click on your show grab handle pull that over onto your shape and we're going to say that seven works okay for this example and again you would replicate this how you want your design to look so maybe think about that ahead of time and you know in your design process and kind of plan that piece out and we'll re um, make sure that they're in the same position or in the position that we want them to be go down to the bottom and click release copies and at this point you can go ahead and group them make them one object okay if you wanted to do that um, leave your shape in place click on your next object show grab handle and repeat that step and you can repeat that step for as many times as you want or as many objects that you have for your design Okay. All right. Now let's see. Um, let's see. Now notice what happened here. Um, it did not like where my position was at, and it's trying to replicate around the other objects. So you, again, you have to be careful about where you're at and how you're designing this um, or it could get a little frustrating I 
Okay, so we're going to say that this is exactly how we want it, or maybe there's another shape that we want to now place on this path. Um, again, when you're ready to release this, you go down to click Release Copies. And at this point, if you wanted to move your shape away, group them, you can either use um, Control G on a PC or Command G on a Mac or just simply right click and choose group and then all of your items are together um, and again it, it unfortunately doesn't work the way that we would think where you can grab multiple objects place them on there rotate them around the shape you do have to do it one at a time but it gets you to the same end result or it gives you that option to put multiple items on a path so hopefully you found this helpful if you did give it a thumbs up and um, thanks for watching